just a quick disclaimer if anyone has any problem with me using their imagery from the internet whether it is instagram or google or wherever facebook wherever else please get in contact with me directly i've tried to keep the names of the people that they posted where i got the image from to give them credit again any problems feel free to get in contact with me personally welcome back to another episode of apex seals and tire squeals and right now it's just me by myself maybe you can hear the birds chirping maybe you can hear the dryer in the background as you can tell i'm home alone and i don't have my side with me jimmy and nelson today last time they were here and we tried doing a podcast you know i said to them you know how about an update you know you guys went on a cruise tell me about that and uh considering these podcasts are few and far in between they're like oh yeah haha <laughs> um we went on a cruise and uh, that was pretty much it so luckily this time Jimmy bought a new car and I took my video cameras out and uh, we went for a cruise over to Ekaroa which probably means nothing to anyone that doesn't know the landscape around here but we went through a big mission through the hills got a bit slippery a bit hairy a few times around some of the corners up there because it was also wet and you should be able to see some of the footage in the background here as we uh, carry on with the podcast here and I'll th throw in a few photos too so I, if you follow my Instagram I posted a f uh, few photos there and one hashtag Akaroa and I changed it to black and white getting all artsy with the filter there and the crack up thing was I don't know who runs it but there's apparently there is an Akaroa um, Instagram page or following there and they put a like on it I don't think they read the hashtag where I put hashtag tourist trap because the prices there are friggin disgusting and I don't really care if anyone's offended by that it's brutal honesty the prices could be high because they're so far away from town I don't know but uh, I'm not really interested in paying tourist prices no offense to tourists I'm not interested in paying stupid money just to sort of you know go around the countryside you know what I mean but hey it was cool Jimmy and Nelson yep hanging out with the boys Jimmy showing off his new ride taking it for a blat and just enjoying it now that was actually a wee while ago and recently I get a uh, well Jimmy we don't text well Nel I think it, I text Nelson but okay Jimmy I usually contact through snapchat and uh, one of the boys there told me that um, Jimmy blew up his engine in his new MR2 the old MR2 Spider, the one that looks like a Porsche and then I get another snapchat we while later and I do believe they're trying to put in an, another engine and I don't mean the same one but a bigger engine I'm not familiar with my engine codes so when the boys um, manage to put it in and turn up and we do another show we'll get uh, some more information out of them of exactly what's going on I did ask Jimmy to send us a photo and you should be on the screen right now I, I thought I snapchatted I thought I screenshotted another photo but um hey the boys are happy and what else has been going on as I go back to my images and things for reference as you may or may not know it's been a while since I've actually done anything on project fat wagon on the rest of my channel again I think I have said before I was borrowing a welder and as it was a borrowed welder someone else needed to borrow it and it's like yep no worries and they said to me no worries I'll have it by you back to you by the end of the weekend two days and I do believe this was back in April and I'm recording this in October so I managed to finally earn enough money to uh, buy my own welder I haven't even plugged it in and tried it yet but with the changing of the seasons you know and hopefully clearing out the garage I might be able to actually use it and start back on Project Fat Wagon and just a little extra here I was mucking around on uh, eBay you know you, you never know what you might find you know locally or internationally and I came across a turbo kit a turbo kit for my 1979 Mazda 929 or Mazda Loose not the RX4 because it's not a rotor it's just a piston engine which is all cool and I was like yes I will see what this uh, this Chinese eBay spoolie boy kit is all worth I bust out the photo I take a look at the photo now 
I don't know what Muppet, I'm assuming they're Chinese, just because Chinese spoolie boys, um, whirly boys, spoolie boys, Wu-Tang whistles and all that. I don't think whoever posted this quite realises that uh, the engine that they're advertising for is carbureted, not injected. So, um, yeah, that was a whole waste of uh, whoever is putting the kit together. I mean, oh, I'm totally lost for words. I'm really struggling to put the words, string the words together to explain and get across my disappointment at the stupidity and obviously I wasn't seriously expecting a turbo kit for my 1979 carbureted VC 4 cylinder 1800 but um, it was a bit of a laugh, a bit of a chuckle but tears and not tears of laughter now as per the Facebook comment on uh, the Apex Heels and Task Squeals page I posted a wee while back I was going to address the uh, the comment that was left on episode 4 crying smiley emoji face happy emoji face crying sm happy smiley crying loving all the Jay-Z hate in this episode thumbs up emoji now just for the record okay I don't hate Supras I don't hate Jay-Z's I fucking hate the fanboys now there are memes oh my god I'm going to do an episode or two purely on the Supra so just for the record it's not hate it's just pointing out the stupidity of some of these fanboys I I cannot even begin I just cannot even to begin and once again I'm lost for words and that's incredibly incredibly unprofessional for trying to make this a nice professional podcast but I am lost for words next we have here was actually taken from last night a little car or person advertising that they're vegan and I can't remember if it's actually one of those new electric cars this goes with the typical trend of vegans having to let you know that they're vegan which is all fine so it was good for a laugh when I took the photo but then I realized this vegan must be drunk I kid you not I don't have footage because I was too busy driving trying to dodge this fucking idiot actual fucking idiot because they're swerving all over the road now I don't know if alcohol is part of a vegan's belief or not self-righteous and just a cut on the road <laughs> yes I don't really have too much more to say to that um, I have nothing I have nothing positive to say about this this was just another idiot on the road and I, I actually have a folder when I used to have a camera a dash cam in my car of near misses you know I'm thinking about putting one in this episode, but I, there's no context or story apart from just another f***ing idiot on the road. Now, I am a heterosexual male, and as much as I do like sexy women and good cars, on their own or even, even together, this image here, this image here does my head in. She's clearly taking the precautionary steps to using a MIG welder. She has the gloves on. She has a mask, although not wearing it, but she doesn't have any long leggings over her legs or the correct boots. Now, you may say, oh, that's been awfully pedantic, you know, worrying about that. Have you ever actually welded and had welding sparks land on your feet? I have. <laughs> Again, two things I do like, separately or all together, but this here... I don't know if this was just like a photo shoot but it's sort of it's a bit ironic that they only half ass it with giving welding gloves but no other actual protection I don't know if it would be as sexy if she was dressed in overalls with safety boots and the mask on could be if it was super skin tight like a body lycra suit almost almost but obviously thick enough not to get burnt <laughs> I don't doubt that there's some kind of a um, market for that sort of thing oh shit but the one thing that does annoy me actually is Instagram well, not so much Instagram itself but when you click on auto I'm looking at cars or anything car related and something that's been popping up lately which I have not taken too well to is there seem to be women on there now okay I just finished saying that 
I like women, I like cars, and putting two together is just as good as looking at them separately. But if I'm clicking on auto on Instagram, I, I don't want to see some kind of half-assed influencer taking selfies with their mates. Okay, I do like boobs, so, I mean, <laughs> she may have her bra on and all that. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm clicking on auto, and I'm looking to look at cars. Now, obviously, at the top section here, you see auto, humor, TV, and movies. And if we go to the next picture here, where there's a woman in a bikini, you see auto, humor, and comics. Now, I'm not saying maybe she should be in the comics section, but I mean, if I want to look at scantily clad women, I generally don't go to the automotive section, you know what I mean? And again, okay, I know it could be for a photo shoot, like for the car, or a photo shoot for the model. If it's for the model, then maybe it shouldn't be on automotive, or it could be to, I don't know, um, for a calendar or whatnot, which is fine. But I mean, I'm here to look at cars. But even in the second picture is not the reason why I took the picture, the screenshot, and it wasn't, well, it was a part of my rant, but the real reason why I took this one is the elephant in the room, boom in the middle the food market the car with a radiator fan which looks like it needs an extension cord <laughs> i have no idea how this fan works yes it was a video i when i say i don't know how the fan works i don't know if he's a generator if he has an inverter i don't know the thinking behind it other than perhaps i need a radiator fan and all i have is the one from my house but um yeah, you're not doing anyone any favors, certainly not to the rice community, eh? <laughs> oh, and just one more little tidbit while we're looking at this picture here. You look in the top right, and it says the Fast and the Furious little Hot Wheels. Well, oh, it is Hot Wheels cars there. I was at my mate's place last night, who is now a hard Hot Wheels collector. I should actually take a photo. I might even do a wee, uh, wee snippet on the show of it. But um, they've got some cool cars, but me personally i can't take the franchise serious anymore and i haven't been able to take it seriously since after the third movie i'm guessing that's an audi with a huge subwoofer i have no idea if that's photoshopped i don't really care i think it looks kind of cool actually now there's one thing i've always wanted to know since like high school science is that can you power a car with a subwoofer and you're probably thinking Either you're thinking, no, because it makes noise and vibration and blah, 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 blah. Or you could be saying, like, perhaps, if the car was parked with a wall behind it and there was enough force from the subwoofer to push it. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a scientist, and I'm not, I'm not confident in saying that, yes, that, uh, I'm not confident in saying that, yes, it would actually be able to power it. But I imagine this is how it would be done. And as we look at the next one, that is probably the size you're actually going to need. <laughs> Again, that has to be photoshopped. They can't even close the, the boot. I mean, it would be cool for a promotional tool, whether it's real or not. But I mean, um, I've always wanted to know, can you actually power a car with a subwoofer? I mean, it also depends on the music you're playing. And I don't know about the vibration with the other traffic on the road or anything. I don't want to get too sciencey. This is just for a laugh. But it's a serious question I've posed since high school. Can you actually power, or move rather, can you move a vehicle using a subwoofer? And I probably do mean faster than um, a snail's pace, depending on the beat. I mean, like, can you actually power it at, like, reasonable speed on the open road? And if you've made it this far into the podcast, I greatly appreciate it as we come up to our very last one here. In case of emergency, break glass for a 10 mil socket. Now, I'm guessing this is not a meme looking at the uh, packaging in the background there. But this year, if you're ever lost for Father's Day, birthdays, Christmas, for any man that knows how to use a spanner, use his socket set, yeah, sockets is probably better than a spanner, but you know what I mean? Someone that knows the way around tools, you really need to get them a couple of these. And the reason why I say a couple, this is not endorsed. I'm just saying that, you know, the way that 10 mil sockets disappear, you probably want a spare. You probably want a good two or three of these on the wall at least. <laughs> oh, yes. I find it ironic considering I can't even find my entire socket set right now while I'm trying to 
get back onto fixing Project Fat Wagon. And once again, like I said, if you've made it this far, thank you very much. Fingers crossed that we have my f boys, uh, Jimmy and uh, Nelson, here next time. And I do have another special guest, probably a little different flavour when he turns up, which will be all cool. But like I said also, upcoming shows, there's going to be a super show, or two, or three, or four, an RX-8 show, because obviously I, I own an RX-8 and I have to be able to take the piss out of myself if I'm going to make fun of other makes and models and vehicles. And definitely a Honda show. And there's probably going to be a Honda show where I'm just going to bitch about trying to find one of these Series 1 late 70s Honda Civics. And uh, thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs>